rhythm is the lifeblood that powers your playing. Without effective use of rhythm, your solos lack energy and they don't move powerfully. Playing on the other side of the beat is one way you can use rhythm to stamp out lethargy and make your solos sparkle. Here are a couple of examples of what I mean by playing on the other side. Laying down a 12-8 groove, so you would normally add a triplet figure like this. It's very symmetrical, it's really predictable. But what if your triplet formed a four note pattern instead, like this? That puts you on the other side of the beat. The root moves from the first to the second to the third part of the pulse. Here's another example. This funk band is laying down a 16th note groove, so you'd probably play a four note pattern like this. Again, it's very symmetrical, very predictable, and kind of boring. So what if you used a five note pattern instead over those sixteenths, like this? You're now playing on the other side of the beat, and once again, the root moves from the first to the second to the third part of the pulse. And it's a lot more interesting, a lot more inventive. It makes your audience sit up and listen. All you need for this to work is to learn how to kick out of the lick gracefully so you don't wipe out in the process. Practice playing on the other side of the beat with this interesting pattern. That's a motif that morphs from three to four to two notes, and it begins on various parts of the pulse. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. We'll see you next time. Thank you.